So my brother Mike called me what would have been a couple weeks ago. Well, now it's a year and a couple weeks ago. He said, hey, bro, we're going out tonight. No excuses. Get your ass ready. Say less. I'm always down. So I called up a couple friends, Peanut Butter and everybody else. We get ready to go out. I got by Mike's. Hop in the truck with him. We're going down the road. You know, we're taking some sips, listening to music, having a great time. Mike gets quiet when we get closer to the club. Like, he gets quiet. I'm like, what's wrong? I'm shaking his head. Mike, what's wrong, bro? Nothing, man. But he, he started smiling. I could tell it wasn't nothing bad. He turns down the radio. He's like, hey, bro, Michaela's pregnant. Now, him and his girl have been trying to have a baby for a year and a half and could not. She couldn't get pregnant. All they wanted to do was have a bunch of babies. Finally, she was pregnant. Man, I was, like we, me and him cried together. We started drinking. We went in a club, had a great time, danced our asses off, partied, had a blast. I talked to him a couple more times on the phone. I got a job out of town. I called him on the Friday to wish him happy birthday. Told him I was going out of town. He says, hand the phone to Dallas, my son. I hand the phone to him. He talks to Dallas for a minute. I see Dallas saying, yes, sir. You know, hear, hear Dallas saying, all right, send it to me. All right, I'll get it. My son hands me the phone back. He said, hey, bro, don't worry about it. When you go on, Dallas wants to go fishing, ride horses, grill out, whatever he wants to do, ride four-wheelers. You just tell him to call me. He said, I got him, I promise you. He's straight. And I knew he was telling the truth. I went to work that Monday, come home, and I fell asleep after I got out of the shower. It had been a long-ass day. It was hot as crap. I fell asleep. I had a missed call from Mike. I didn't answer it. I woke up to a call from Mike. I had two more calls. I woke up, answered the phone, and it was his girlfriend telling me that he'd been shot. Mike was taking the buddy fishing Kind of a weird guy, but we I, we knew him from playing spades and stuff and cooking out. Mike was taking him fishing. This is a little bitty dude, but the dude, you know, the dude had a bad habits, and the dude was just in and out of reality. I don't. For some reason, they got home. Mike's girlfriend pulled up behind him. Dude pulled out a gun. Pew pew, my my brother through the eye. And the man was so big, it was a forty five. He was so big, he lasted nine hours. But I'll never forget the day he left us been a year. Well, we love you, brother. Keep watching down on us.